Tadam! Hello, 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 hello! Welcome back to weekly Korean live class. My name is Kajin. 안녕하세요, Kajin입니다. And 안녕하세요, Chimchim입니다. Hello, hello, hello! Yay! I already seeing some comments. Hello, 안녕하 안녕하세요, Chris. 안녕하세요, Cody, Nikhil. Quati, S the Great, Sumi, <laughs> and the cat, God and Pearl, and Deepa, Deepa. Hello, awesome! <laughs> yes, class begins! <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Yes, 안녕하세요, Practitia, Emily. Mm, our regular students are coming and coming to the class. Yes, today we are going to talk about this Korean future tense. It's not going to be hard. I would say it's easy. Hopefully. <laughs> Please keep watching the video. All good? <laughs> okay, so as usual, I have an announcement before starting our lesson. So what is the announcement? Yes, if you see John this banner, get your free hunger worksheet. That's right, we have free hunger worksheet. So if you click the link in the description, you will see a page like this. Yes, this is our Hangul page. And a lot of my students already know about Hangul, but if you are not familiar with Hangul, by the way, Hangul is the Korean alphabet. It's like A, B, C, D in Korean. It's Kanadara Mabasa Adachakatapa. So if you want to learn more about this Korean alphabet, Korean letters, Korean writing system, Click the link in the description. You can learn more about it. Here's uh, some history about it. And of course, we are giving away free Hangul ebook like this. Ooh, with this free ebook, you can practice writing Hangul. Because Hangul is very different from the English alphabet. The shapes are different and the pronunciation is different. So you need practice. That's why. Get it? <laughs> Download it. This is available for free for any Korean Class 101 members. It doesn't matter if you are a member of um, free members, paid members, it doesn't matter. So if you uh, just sign up for koreanclass101.com, you can download this ebook plus you can see some histories and like this, some Hangul chart. Yeah. <laughs> the, oh, there are a lot of things, right? Yeah, check it out. Oh, a lot. <laughs> Why is learning Hangul important? Do you see this? Yes. So it's all there. So that's it. My advertisement, my 광고 is over. <laughs> Let's start today's lesson. So today's lesson is the future tense. 을 거예요. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, so it's cold this morning. 여기도 추워요. It's cold here. <laughs> MD, oh, you are student. You are my students. Hello, hello, hello. Bonjour, tout le monde. Veronique, 안녕하세요. Jeffrey, 어렵지 않아. 맞아요. It's not going to be hard. Nikki, I'm doing very well. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so do you know about the Korean, Korean future tense, by the way? Well, it's 을 거예요, as you see here. <laughs> Can you see this? Yes, it's 을 거예요. And the conjugation is, I would say it's not very difficult. It's average, average. <laughs> 안녕하세요, Lisa, Gailon, and Marlon. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so let's start. 새별, hi, hi, hi. Kishore and Kamal. G24. Thank you. Okay. I want to move to the next page. Oh, yes. If you missed the first part, <laughs> now we are giving away this free Hangul worksheet. So check out the link in the description. You can download this free Hangul worksheet. Plus, well, you can uh, learn the history of the Korean alphabet and a lot of other things related to Hangul. 공부할 거예요. That's very good. You already know the conjugation. Chan, yes, 을 거예요 is the future tense in Korean. Yes, 을 거예요. 
So when you translate it into English, I would say it's like will. Like I will go to the park or I am going to watch a movie with my friends tonight. Or I'll or she will she will teach Korean or he will dance. We will dance or you are going to study Korean. <laughs> So it's a future tense. Will be going to. Will or be going to. In English, there's a slight difference in terms of the nuance between will and be going to. But in, in, in Korean, well, both of them are just 을 거예요. 을 거예요. That's it. That's it. So for Korean people, we find it difficult to distinguish will and be going to. <laughs> but lucky you. Now, you can just use will or be going to for just one expression. 을 거예요 in Korean now. Yay! Daniel, 한국 갈 거예요. <gasps> 정말요? 언제요? <laughs> when are you going to Korea? And Shristi, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. <laughs> Camel. Okay, 새별. <laughs> and I think now you understand what is 을 거예요 in terms of the meaning, right? It's pretty simple. It's just express a future action or intention. It's just a future tense. It's will be going to. Simple, simple. Summer. <laughs> I see you're going to Korea in the summer. <gasps> That's great. I don't know where you're from, but summer in Korea might not be so easy because it's hot and humid. <laughs> but of course, if you're from the tropical country, maybe Korea is still cooler. But <laughs> in general, I think Korea is very hot in the summer. <laughs> okay, this is how you form uh, how you form the future tense. So first, you need to get this. Da -da -da -da. Stem of verb or adjective. Stem of verb or adjective. Plus, 을 거예요. 을 거예요. So, do you see this uh, bracket? <laughs> yes, you need to choose. It's optional. Sometimes you need to add it. Sometimes you don't need to. When is it? <laughs> First, you just put 을 거예요 when stem is ending in a vowel. And if stem is ending in a consonant, then you are using 을 거예요. Mm, what does it mean? What does it mean? Let me show you the example, and once you see the example, it will be very simple, very simple. For example, I have this verb, 보다, 보다. 보다 means to see, to see, to look, or to watch. As in, you watch the movie, you see something, <laughs> so something you see, see, 보다, 보다. And as this formation so shows, let's get the stem. Hmm, stem. What is a stem? First, this is a verb, verb or adjective. All the Korean verb and adjective end with ta at the end. If you check the root form, the dictionary form, or infinitive, it's always ending with ta. Okay, so what's the stem here? Po is a stem. So in the verb or adjective, it always includes ta, but remove ta. Then you only have po, right? Po is a stem. The part, the words without ta, the verb or adjective without ta is a stem. Okay, I got the stem, which is po, po, po. Great. Now let's see po, o, 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 o. po, po, po. Uh, it ends with o sound. It ends with a vowel, vowel. So now, look at this rule, first one. Since the stem ends in a vowel, please put 을 거예요. This 리을 거예요. 리을 거예요. So what happens? Then you combine these two as in 볼 거예요. 볼 거예요. 볼 거예요. It means I will watch. For example, I can say 영화를 볼 거예요. 영화를 볼 거예요. 영화 means movie or film. 를 is object marking particle because 영화 is the object of the sentence. If you are not familiar with this object marking particle, 
Don't worry about it. Because in Korea, we often omit this chan the object marking particle when we speak. So you can just omit it. You just say 영화 means movie. 볼 거예요. We'll watch. So there is no subject. So it can be um, I'll watch movie. You'll watch movie. She will watch movie. We will watch a movie. Mm, he will watch movie. They will watch a movie. I don't know. It depends on the context. Very often, we also meet the subject. So it depends on the context. 영화 볼 거예요. I watch a movie. I watch a movie. Or uh, I'm going to watch a movie. Oh, good. The conjugation is simple, right? Muhammad, do you speak Turkish? Unfortunately, no, I don't. <laughs> Lisa, 안녕하세요. From the Philippines. Hey, Kailon, 볼 거예요. Very good. Lisa, 볼 거예요. Perfect. Kwati, 새별, sumi, you are right. Mm -hmm. Now you understand it. And let's look at the other example. Other example that I have is 먹다. You know the meaning of this, right? To eat. Yum, yum, yum. 먹다. What's the stem here? Stem? Well, as I mentioned, all the Korean verb and adjective end with ta. So the verb or adjective without ta is a stem, which is bok, bok, bok. Bok is consist of bok, o, o, o. It's kind of like K sound, kind of. By the way, I couldn't find the exact uh, pronunciation, exact pronunciation in English. That's why I'm saying it's kind of K sound, but it's actually different. <laughs> it's similar, somewhat similar. So it's mok. It's not mok, by the way. It's not mok. There's no k sound. It's just mok. Mok. <laughs> That's it. So anyway, it ended with consonant, kyo, kind of K sound. So now you have to use ul koeyo. Ul koeyo. It's not. Dear koyo is ul koyo because it ended with consonants. So all together when you combine it is mogul koyo I will eat. Oops. Mogul koyo I will eat. Mogul koyo I will eat what I'm going to eat. For example, kamja. Mm, <laughs> I don't know why I come up with this word, but kamja. 감자를 먹을 거예요. 감자 means potato, by the way. Potato, 감자. The object marking particle, because 감자 is the object of the sentence. If you are not familiar with this object marking particle, you can omit it for now. I'll have another lesson about the object marking particle in the near future. The lesson is coming soon. But anyway, 자, 감자 먹을 거예요. I'll eat potatoes. <laughs> Oh, travel! That's a good example too. Instead of 감자, you can also say 라면, 라면, 라면. 라면 먹을 거예요 is also fine too. 라면 먹을 거예요. 라면 먹을 거예요. 라면 is instant noodles, by the way. Instant noodles that you can buy in the supermarket. 나는 먹을 거예요. Okay. Precious, I'm glad to hear that you can understand today's lesson. Wow, awesome. So now you can talk about future in Korean. <laughs> and also, Kwati, that's a good question. And that's the topic that I was about to say. G24, potato is your favorite? Yeah, yeah, I can't say it's my favorite because I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> I have other food that I prefer to prefer uh, to the potato, but I like potato. Why not? Potato fries are good. Mashed potato, good. <laughs> and Precious, can you speak Hindi and Urdu? Unfortunately, no. I wish I can speak many languages, but yeah, I only speak English, Korean. Japanese and a little bit of French. <laughs> yeah, in the future, who knows? I might, uh, I might be speaking more languages. But anyway, <laughs> let's focus on today's lesson. This 을 거예요, 을 거예요 is polite, by the way. It's polite, but it sounds pretty mm, friendly. So definitely this 을 거예요 is most common form when you go to Korea. You can use this form to strangers on the street, your neighbors, or uh, your colleagues, or 
Oh, you can use it to someone who is older than you too. So this one is very standard and useful. But, but, you want to use this form in a casual way when you want to have a conversation with your friends, right? Mm, then you can use the casual form. What is casual form? Done. This is a casual form. Casual form. 거야. 거야. The conjugation is the same. 니을 월 을. And replace 거예요 with 거야. 거야. If you want to talk to your uh, family members or your siblings, younger siblings, or even older siblings, your family member, your siblings, or your close friends, your classmates, or someone who is much younger than you, then you use casual language in Korea. You don't need to use polite language to five-year-old kids. You, of course, if you want, you can do that. But you can also use a casual language. In that case, replace 거예요 with 거야. This is a casual form. So for example, do you remember 볼 거예요? 볼 거예요, meaning we'll watch. But instead of 거예요, you say 볼 거야. By the way, I use deal here because 보다, 보, 보, it is a stem and it ends with a vowel. In 보, 보. So I'm using deal, 거야. 볼 거야, I will watch. Now we have this. We have this. 짠, 을 거야, 을 거야. As you can see here, if the stem ends in a consonant, then you use 을, right? Do you remember? 먹을 거예요. So instead of 먹을 거예요, you use 먹을 거야. 먹을 거야. I will eat. I'll eat. So your friends, your best friends, best friends. You've been friends over 10 years and he or she is asking you. <laughs> he or she is asking you, what are you going to eat? What are you going to eat? So I said, hmm, I will eat pizza. Pizza. By the pizza. Pizza in Korean is pizza. Pizza. <laughs> pizza 먹을 거야. Pizza 먹을 거야. I'll eat pizza. What are you going to do today? Um, YouTube 볼 거야. YouTube, by the way. It means YouTube. <laughs> YouTube 볼 거야. I'll watch YouTube. YouTube 볼 거야. So, this is a casual form. Now, you want to know the formal form, right? Formal form. The formal form is also very simple. Don't worry. It's 겁니다. Mm, 겁니다. Or the original form is 것입니다. This is the same. 것입니다, 겁니다 is the same, same, exactly the same. But 겁니다 is shortened form of 것입니다. And there is 을 겁니다 or 을 것입니다. This is a formal form. So, for example, I'm having business meeting with my clients. I'm talking about our company's plan. So our company uh, is going to uh, launch this new product this year. So 겁니다, 겁니다. I'll use this formal ending, formal ending. So for example, now let's say I will watch, we, our company will watch, our company will see the situation and make a decision like this. I'll com our company will see, will see is 볼 겁니다. Or, 볼 것입니다. 볼 것입니다. Now, I think, uh, in, as, a, as a present, I'm saying, I think our, com, uh, our client will eat, will eat this kind of food uh, in this situation. So I'm having a presentation now, serious presentation. <laughs> and now I'm saying a uh, formal, formal way. So I say, 먹을 겁니다. Or, 먹을 것입니다. 먹을 것입니다. So, 겁니다, 것입니다 is a form of form. In short, if you are a beginner, start with this form. 을 거예요. As you can see here, conjugation is exactly the same. If the stem ends in a vowel, then use, use 리을 거예요. If stem ends in a consonant, use 을 거예요. This is, this is a standard polite form. But if you have talking with your friends, close friends, and you use casual language, then you use this form. 거야, 을 거야, 볼 거야, 먹을 거야, 거야, 거야. <laughs> but if you are 
um, using a formal language in business presentation, uh, business meeting, or in some presentation, use this. 겁니다, 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 겁니다. Okay. <laughs> oh, the conjugation is the same. And precious, yes, as Kwati said, you can join my classes online every Thursday, 1 p.m. in Korean time, just like what you do now. <laughs> So I do this live on Facebook and YouTube. So please join it. It's 1 p.m. in Korean time. So which means, yeah, the time will be different in your country. I don't know where you are from, but it can be like, I don't know, 10 p.m., 4 a.m., 7 a.m. But check out the time. And also, we have the Zoom class, by the way. If you want to learn Korea with... Uh, teacher directly we have a zoom class so in the zoom class you will have up to four five students in the class with the teacher and you can learn with teacher directly and you have you will have tons of chances to speak korean or or we are also launching our elite course this spring i think may <laughs> so you can learn korean with one on one by the way if you are interested Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm also a teacher of our Zoom class. Check it out if you're interested. It's koreanclass101.com slash live hyphen classes. Okay, let's move on. Let's focus on today's lesson. <laughs> Kwati, K-pop song has a lot of koya in the lyric. It's cute. That's right. Koya, koya. I will, I will. <laughs> yes, in K-pop's lyric, there, there's a lot of koya means I will I'm going to uh, uh Spatra how about I will sell I will leave that's very good that's coming very soon coming very soon oh Je Jeffrey 감사합니다 thank you so much for your donation 감사합니다 thank you thank you thank you 감사합니다 let's learn Korean <laughs> How to join Zoom? By the way, if you're interested in our Zoom class, Zoom class, check out koreanclass101.com slash live classes. Check it out this uh, link, then uh, you can join our Zoom class. <laughs> yes, but our semester already started and our next semester will start in May. So. <laughs> And ah, thank you, Marcia. Marcia is sharing the link. <laughs> and also, uh, Sparta. Yes, that's a very good question. This is question is related to this. The first point. Do you see this first point? If the stem ends in consonant dir, add 거예요 only to the stem directly. Mm, what does that mean? What does it mean? For example. I have this verb 팔다 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 means to sell to sell so for example I have my own shop and I sell necklaces <laughs> so I sell some necklace and I want to say I will sell necklaces I will sell necklaces how can I do that theoretically what's the stem here is 팔 Ah, it ended with 팔, 팔, 팔. It ended with consonant, right? Consonant. So, mm, it ended with consonant. So, I have to use 을 거예요, right? 팔을 거예요 because it ended with consonant, right? But, I'm sorry. This is an exception. So, nope. This is wrong. So, if the stem, which is the verb or adjective without 다, which is 팔 here. 팔, 팔, 팔. If the stem ends in a consonant 리을, let's see. Pa, ah, ah. It ended with at the end at the bottom. It ended with this lil, right? If the stem ends with lil, add ko, ye, yo only. Ko, ye, yo only. Pa, ko, ye, yo. It means I will sell. I'll sell. Again, if the if the stem such as pa ends with Dear, dear, like this, then put 거예요. As in, 팔 거예요 means I will sell. For example, 
What is necklace in Korean? Necklace. Necklace is 목걸이. 목걸이를 팔 거예요. I'll sell necklaces. I'll sell necklaces. Another example is, then how about this? 살다. 살다. Do you know what this means? 살다 means to live. For example, from this summer, I live in Korea. Korea. So now I want to conjugate it. 살다. What is the stem here? Stem is 살. 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 살 ending with the deer. Deer, right? So I only put 거예. 거예. Oops. 거예요. 살 거예요 means I will live. I will live. I live. So where do you live? Hmm, let's say Korea. Korea is 한국. 한국에. 한국에 살 거예요. I live in Korea. I live in Korea. By the way, 한국. 한국. 한국 is Korea and 에 is a particle. Here it means like in Korea. I live in Korea. 한국에 살 거예요. 한국에 살 거예요. Or 한국에서 살 거예요. All good? So please be careful with the words that has a stem ending in consonant dear, such as 살다, 살다 to live, or 팔다, 팔다 to sell, or 열다, 열다 means to open. You open the door, right? Or 만들다, 만들다 to make. So there are a lot of verbs that has that has the stem ends with consonant dear. 열, 만들다. In that case, only put 거예요. It's not 을 거예요 or 니을 거예요. Because it already include the 니을 sound, 으, 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 kind of L sound already. So you don't have to add additional 니을 sound, additional L sound anymore because it already includes the sound. All good? Okay, very good. 새별, 니킬, 에시드, 그레이트, 수미, 프락티샤. Awesome. Very good. 잘했어요. And shake. 감사합니다. Thank you for watching from Bangladesh. And Lisa 살 거예요. Very good. Li 가일론 얼마예요? My necklace will be very expensive. It will be $100. <laughs> Are you going to buy my necklace? <laughs> okay, Sovan, hello. Okay, so let's look at the point two. Um, well, I'm not going to dig into all the details for this the point, uh, second point, because I will have another, another separate lesson about this 을게요. But the point is this. A lot of students are confused with 을. Oops. Ah! 을. 게요. And 을. 거예요. Because in English, both of them often translate into will or be going to. Will, will, future tense. So, yes, it's partly true. 을게요, this first one also has the meaning of will, but the nuance is slightly different. Nuance is different. So, by the way, don't worry about this if you're a super beginner, if you don't know about this, but I'm talking about this for uh, upper beginner or intermediate learners because I don't want you to be confused and mix this grammar incorrectly. So this 을 거예요 is more like, let me do something and it's a promise. Okay, I'll promise I'll call you tonight or I'll promise uh, I'll close the door for you. So this one, the important thing is you need a listener. So you are giving a promise. Okay, I will do this. You need someone. You need someone. And you are uh, showing your intention. Promise. But this one, 을 거예요, that we learned today is simply the future tense. So this is what you are going to do in the future. It doesn't matter if the if uh, this action is related to the listener or not. It doesn't matter. But this one is... Uh, just describing the action that will happen in the future. That's it. It's just future action. That's it. That's it. But this nuance, 을게요, is a nuance. It's like, I promise you, let me do this for you. So you need a listener. You need a listener. I'll have a full lesson about this 을게요 uh, this year. So let's skip this for now. But don't be confused. These are different. 
올 거예요 is the more standard future tense. So if you uh, want to use some future tense, and if you don't know if you, you if you need to use this first one or second one, in normally normally second one is more safe. It's safer, safer in many cases, in many cases because 올게요 has more nuance, more nuance. Okay. <laughs> 짠! 개요 has a nuance of intention. Yes, as the, uh, as the great, you are right. It has more of your intention. And it's kind of you have intention and you promise. You promise for the listener. So, okay, I'll do that. Let me do this. Let me do this for you. So, for the future tense, the first one, uh, the second one that we learned today is a safer, safer. The first one is a bit tricky. Let me show you about this conjugation and meaning, how to use it in the future. So for now, let me move on to the next part. <laughs> 짠! It's for practice time! Yay! <laughs> so here are many, many, many words and adjectives. So can you conjugate these words with 을 거예요, the future tense that you learned today? Please conjugate it. Please conjugate. Start from 사다. 사다. Please, 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 please start it. <laughs> 사다. 사다. For those of you who don't know this word, let me uh, explain it. 사다. 사다 meaning to buy. You buy a book. You buy a cell phone. You buy apples. You buy vegetables in the supermarket, right? So it's a 사다. In Korean, that's 사다. Nikhil, you are very fast. Awesome, very good. So, as Nikhil said, and as Seppyal said, Kwati, very good. Sada, what's the stem here? Stem is sa. Sa ended with vowel sound. So I'm using koye yo ryul and koye yo. And you just combine this, right? As in, sal koyeo. Sal koyeo means I will buy. I will buy. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. I'll buy. Then, do you remember the other expression that we just learned? So it means will buy. 살다 meaning to live. You live in Korea. You live in the States. You live in India. You live in Bangladesh. 살, 살, 살. 거예요. It's the same, right? Will, oops, oops, will, oops. <laughs> because 살, the stem ends with a real sound, so you don't have to put anything else but just 거예요, right? 살 거예요. So both of them has exactly the same pronunciation, but one of them will mean, will buy, I will buy, I will buy. One of them means 살 거예요, will live, I will live in Korea. I will live in Korea. So how can you distinguish? You see the context and know what it means. You have to see the context. You need to see the context. <laughs> Let's make a full sentence, by the way. How about I'll buy milk because I want to cook some cake and you need milk to cook some cake, right? Milk in Korean is 우유. 우유를 살 거예요. I'll buy milk. So, 살 거예요. I will live. How can I say I live long? <laughs> long in Korean is 오래. By the way, long here means the long span of time. Long duration. Long duration. This long doesn't mean that my hair is long or uh, this string is so long. It's not like that. It's not the physical long. It's more like the Time. The time is long. It's 오래. I will live long. Seriously, I live long. 오래 살 거예요. 저는 오래 살 거예요. I will live long. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay, so let's practice the second one. Can you make a sentence with 잡다? 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 It's simple. So, in the meanwhile, let me uh, explain the meaning. 잡다 means you catch you catch something catch 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 
or you grab something. You grab, grab, grab. 잡다, 잡다. For example, 잡다 it means to catch. And um, let's see the stem. What is the stem here? <gasps> Poo, we already got all the answers from Gailon on Facebook. Excellent. Very fast and perfect. <laughs> so, yes, we already got on, uh, answers on uh, YouTube too. Nikke, Sepbyeol, and Trevon. Very good. It's 잡다. The stem is 잡. So, 잡. 잡. It ended with consonants. So, I'm using 을 거예요. So, it means I will catch or I will grab. So, for example, uh, I've got to go home. Seriously. Now, I've got to go home. So, I will catch a taxi. I'll grab a taxi. I'll grab a taxi. 택시를 잡을 거예요. I'll grab a taxi. Is 택시를 잡을 거예요. 택시 is taxi. <laughs> we use the English word. Lucky for you, you don't have to memorize this word. You already know it. 택시, 택시, 택시를 잡을 거예요. I'll catch a taxi. Now, let's try this one. 읽다, 읽다. The third word, 읽다. Can you see this? 읽다, 읽다. Can you conjugate it? So, 읽다, 읽다 means to read. To read. And what do you want to read? How about the novels or fictions? Novels, fiction. Ah, 새별, that's a good uh, example too. You can say, 나비를 잡을 거예요 is good too. Instead of 택시. 나비 means butterfly, by the way. 나비를 잡을 거예요. So I'll catch a butterfly. Oh, poor butterfly. <laughs> 나비, 나비, 나비 is butterfly. Anyway, let's move on. 읽다, 읽다 is to read, to read. And let's say, let's read novel. So before that, how can I conjugate 걸을 거예요 with 읽다? 읽, 읽, 읽. Ah, it ended with consonants, so you say 짠, 거예요, 을 거예요, because 읽, the stem ends with consonants, so 읽을 거예요, 읽을 거예요, 읽을 거예요. I will read, I'm going to read. What are you going to read? 소설을, 소설을 읽을 거예요. 소설 means novels or fictions. 소설을 읽을 거예요, 소설을 읽을 거예요. And Shake, what's your question? 질문이 뭐예요? <laughs> 소설을 읽을 거예요. And practice, that's a good example. 미스터리, 미스터리 소설을 읽을 거예요. 미스터리 is from mystery. Mystery in English. Or you can say, um, romance. Romance means romance. Romance, romantic uh, fiction, romantic novel, romance novel. 스토아 안녕하세요. <웃음> 새별 very good. 읽을 거예요. So 소설을 읽을 거예요. Let's practice this one. The fourth one. 놀다. 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 So it means to hang out, hang out or to have fun. So for example, I'll hang out with my friends today. So maybe you can go to the park with your friends and and just talk <laughs> or you can invite your friends and play the game together or you watch the movie together or um you can go to the karaoke karaoke <laughs> it's 노래방 in korean karaoke in korean is 노래방 노래방 korean people love 노래방 <laughs> 노래 means sing 방 means room so it's singing room is karaoke or you guys can go to the Rotte World. <laughs> Rotte World is kind of Korean version of Disneyland. So it's an amusement park. It's the Hindu, uh, biggest amusement park. Probably in the world. At least in Korea, it's the biggest indoor uh, amusement park. Where there are some outside uh, parts too. There are some amuse uh, attractions outside too. Or you can go to just a shopping mall to do eye shopping. Window shopping. By the way, eye shopping is a Kongus. It's window shopping. In Korean, we say eye shopping, but in English, it's window shopping. To do in window shopping. So anything is okay if you just have fun. 
It doesn't matter if you do with other people or yourself alone. It doesn't matter. If you just have a fun, we use this word. This word. 놀다. 놀다. It's also translated into play. Play. But, yeah. Just to have hang out or to have fun. 놀다. Mm, we got answer. Very good. This is actually a tricky one. Tricky one. But you did very well. So, 놀다. What's the stem here? Stem is 놀, 놀, 놀. 놀. And it ended with the deer. So, you just put 놀 거예요. 놀 거예요. It's not 놀을 거예요. It's 놀 거예요. Because the stem ended with deer sound. So, for example, let's say, 서울에서 놀 거예요. I will hang out in Seoul. Seoul is the capital of Korea. Seoul, Seoul. 에서, 에서, location marking particle. So, in Seoul or at Seoul. And 를 is singular or plural. 를, it doesn't matter, by the way. You are talking about this kind of um, particle, right? 을 or 를, it doesn't matter. It is a singular or plural. We just use 을 or 를 if, uh, if the words comes before 을 or 를 is an object of the sentence. So, 을 or 를, it doesn't matter if it's a singular or plural. 서울에서 놀 거예요. Next challenge is 기다리다. 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 To wait. To wait. <laughs> so, you wait for your friends. You wait for your friends. You uh, are supposed to meet your friends, but they came... Uh, you, you arrived too early, so you wait for your friends. How can you say that? So, I will wait. I'll wait, my friends. I'll wait for my friends. So, tararan, 기다리다. It means to wait. To wait. What's the stem here? Stem is 기다리. So, verb or adjective without 다 at the end. So, 기다리 is the stem. 기다리 is the stem. Now, 기다리 ended with a vowel sound. So, I'm using 좋은 거예요. 거예요. 기다리 거예요. And when you conjugate this, combine this. Because Korean consonant can never be used alone. In the internet slang, we use consonant only, but this is a grammar. This is serious, correct grammar that you use, uh, you can find in the newspaper or in the book or when Korean people learn Korean, we use the correct grammar, right? So, never be the this. Consonant can never be used alone. So, you need to conjugate, combine it as in 기다릴 거예요. I will wait. I will wait. So, 기다릴 거예요. I will, I'm going to wait. Who are you going to wait? 친구를, 친구를. 친구 means a friend. Friend or friends. Very often, uh, we ignore the plural, plural uh, nouns and we uh, use the singular form, even if uh, it's a plural form. <laughs> So, even if there are many, many, many friends, very often we say just 친구, 친구. 친구를 기다릴 거예요. If you want to use the plural form, then put 친구들을 기다릴 거예요. 친구들을 기다릴 거예요. I'll wait for friends. Ah, KG, 널 기다릴 거예요. That's good too. <laughs> and 새별, very good. Travel. And Pratisha, that's nice. You use the casual form. Yes, if you want to say casually instead of 기다릴 거예요, you can say 기다릴 거야, 거야. 친구들을 기다릴 거야. This is a very casual. Casual. <laughs> okay, how about the last one? It's 예쁘다, 예쁘다, 예쁘다. So, 예쁘다 means to be pretty. And it will be pretty. If you uh, color, if you color this drawing with green, <laughs> it will be pretty. It will be pretty. It will be pretty. Or um, you bought some muffler, muffler, muffler for your friends, and you are saying, "Oh, try this muffler." I bought it for you. You will look very, very pretty with this muffler. Will be pretty. 
will be pretty. How can you say that? First, oops, yebuda meaning to be pretty, right? What's the stem here? Yebu, yebu, bu, u, u. It ended with vowel sound, so I'm using u. Koyeyu. Again, consonant can never be used alone. Combine it. It will be pretty, or you will be pretty, she will be pretty, or we will be pretty. <laughs> it will be pretty. So as you can see here, you can use this grammar with adjective too. Uh, we will be happy. Happy is an um, adjective, right? We'll be happy, we'll be busy, we'll be pretty, we'll be... We'll be... Disappointing, <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> so, 예쁠 거야. It will be pretty, or you will be pretty. She'll be pretty. Okay, 예쁠 거예요. So, very good. You did awesome job with the conjugation. Very good, very good. So, Jan, do you have any questions so far? All good. I tried to answer all your question. And. 아, 놀 거예요 하고 놀, 놀려고 해요 has similar intention. Yes, by the way, 거예요. That's a good question. Good question. 놀 거예요. 놀려고 해요. That's a good question. I'll, since it's not the main topic, I'll make it really simple. But 놀 거예요 means you're just future action. Oh, it's my plan, future plan. 놀 거예요. But 놀려고 해요 shows your intention more strongly. So, for example, uh, what are you going to do um, this Sunday? Mm, I'll just, uh, I'll just hang out with my friend. 친구랑 놀 거예요. 친구랑 놀 거예요. So it's your just future plan. But 놀려고 해요. It has more intention. Oh, I'm trying. I I I try to uh, hang out. I try to hang out. 놀려고 해요. So it has slight difference in nuance. 놀 거예요, just future, future, uh, your plan. It's just future tense. In English, it's just future tense. 놀려고 해요. 놀려고 해요 is like, um, I'm about to hang out or I'm trying to hang out. It shows more intention. The focus is intention. And 놀게요. 놀게요, it, mean, it shows your promise. 놀게요, okay. I'll, I'll, let me let me let me hang out. Let me hang out. Okay. So anyway, um, I think you are excellent, excellent with this conjugation today. Very good. So this is this is the future tense of Korean. So 을 거예요, 을 거예요. As a quick review, 짠, 을 거예요 is Future tense in Korean. Future tense. It means like will or going to. And the conjugation, there are two. 닐 거예요 or 을 거예요. 닐 거예요 is used when the stem ends in a vowel. 을 거예요 used when the stem ends with a consonant. Please be careful with the words with the stem ending in consonant 닐. Because in that case, you use 거예요. 거예요. <laughs> And Jan, here's a homework for you because I know you love homework. So first word that I have for you is 운전하다. 운전하다. 운전하다 means to drive. So can you make a sentence? Like, I'll drive. I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. You can just conjugate it with 운전하다 을 거예요. Or if you want, you can make the sentence longer. Like, I'm going to drive my father's car this Sunday with my friends to go to the park to have dinner, <laughs> to have lunch. Something like that. If you want, make the sentence longer if you want. If not, just conjugation is fine because this is conjugation practice. Second word that we have is 바쁘다. 바쁘다. Buda is an adjective and it means busy. So you can say, uh, I'll be busy. I'm going to be busy. 바쁘다 plus 을 거예요. Second expression is 친구가 되다. 친구, 친구 means friend and 가 is a particle. And 되다 
here. Tueda means become, so it means to become friends. So we'll become friends. We'll become friends. How can you say that in Korean? So please do your homework and leave a comment on YouTube, on Facebook of Korean Class 101. Or if you personally want me to check your uh, homework, here you are. <laughs> this is my Instagram, so you can tag me, tag me, so I can correct your Korean. By the way, I know a lot of people want to take a screenshot, so I'll steal for a while. Did you take a screenshot? Not yet? <laughs> okay, good. I think it's enough. It's enough. <laughs> okay, so please do your homework. Practice makes perfect. Okay, and if you didn't know about this, Hangul Writing Worksheet, click the link in the description. You can download this free Hangul Worksheet and learn about all about Korean Hangul. Hangul is a Korean alphabet. You can learn about the history, the alphabet, and a lot of other things about Hangul. Check out. This is free. Free for everyone who joined Korean Class 101, even for free members. Next week, I'm going to talk about very, very important Korean grammar, which is Dien or un, nende. This is commonly used when we speak Korean. Seriously, it's too common. When you watch Korean drama in, I would say like in five minutes or ten minutes, this grammar one hundred percent or ninety nine percent appear because it's that much common. Yes. So please join it. That will be uh next Thursday, one p.m. in Korean time, February 9th, one p.m. in Korean time. So. 감사합니다, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today's class too. I hope you enjoyed today's class. And please, please, please <laughs> join next week's class. 감사합니다. <laughs> 감사합니다. So, so, are you going to join today's uh, next week's class? I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> 감사합니다. Uh, Kaul, Kwati, Nikhil, Gabby, Kajin, Trevon, Cody, Philistas, Pratisha, and Sepbyeol, and of course on Facebook too. Lisa, uh, Shik, Gailon, Sena. <laughs> 감사합니다. 다음 주에 봐요. See you next week. Bye bye.